stream is starting. Probably should have checked if the uh, the chat was working. Up oh, and <coughs> we are we are good, fam. Have you done the testes? Yeah, I just dropped a testy, my dude. Just dropped a testy. As usual. Always. It says we're starting, receiving good content. The real question is the vo volume difference. Yeah, I'm. Wait, can you speak? Howdy, 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 ho. Uh, yeah, I mean. Haiti, 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 Haiti. If I protrude my. If I, you know, expel my voice a bit louder, we're at the same level, so. That's that's good to know. Um, we are live, live. Supposedly, we are. Q. Q. Um, how's it going, Tom? How you doing? Is the is the audio alright? Yeah. 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 We Gucci. Dude, I look so white today. You're always so white. Nah, like, white, I think. Oh. Here we go. Extra white. Super white. You've been using some fucking extra on your skin. Yeah. You know, just use it on my face instead of in my mouth, whatever. Okay, so. What's up? What's up? How's it going, YouTube? How's it going, peeps watching? Um, hopefully, we're not lagging. I can't see it from my end, so... I'm just getting the chat out. There we go. We seem to be green, my end. I... Luck of the draw, mate. Yeah, hopefully. Mm. Fingers coast. Um, what are you vapping on tonight, Tom? What's what's your vaps of choice? Um, A whole bunch, really. I've got the um, Therion 166. <laughs> With the Procore Remix, with a TF V8 Big Baby coil in there. Ooh. I've got the 67 mod Squonk with the Goon LP. I've got the Hustler with the Icon. I've got the Captain with the Crown with finally 0.25 arm coils, and then I've got the Titanium with the Sleeper. Dude, what? So much time. What's up, Anadu? How you doing, man? Um, mate, you're just doing the show alone with all those. Um, so run the hustler, pretty much all I use at the moment with the Procore. Loving this thing. Flavor on this tank is pretty fucking good. Uh, running some evil juice, evil's juice in there. The shit's really nice, nice menthol. Um, also just got to put a battery in it, but running. The little Phantom with the Gorge on top. Funny enough, with the Goon LP drip tip, because the Gorge uh, drip tip is too small with the hot build. Too um, small. Waiting for my batteries to charge, but running the Admiral with the Aria on top. Loving this combo at the moment. <laughs> Fucking really good flavor chasing build in there. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Tom. Um, and then, last, lastly. I picked this up about 11 o'clock, haven't put it down since, drove home using it, the Vapresso Revenger kit with the NRT tank. NRT! Isn't it NRG? Uh, pretty sure it's NRT. Alright. If you say so, boss. I think, well, I'm, I'm the boss now, damn. How's it going, Daniel? How's it going, Anadu? How are you guys doing today? What's up, um, my dude? Grab the box, Tom, just to double check. Oh, it is the NRG tank. Whoops. Oh, what's that? What's that guy? <laughs> Shut up. Nah, yeah, it's NRT as an NR tank is what I was going with, but NRG tank, yeah. Um, running the which which coil is it? I believe it's the GT eight. Pretty good. I hear you can put uh, baby beast coils in it, so I might try that out this week. Fuck yeah, just like the Procore. Dude, I know, isn't it great that I told you about that? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it is. 
Means. And it makes the it makes the TFV eight baby coils so much more flavorsome. <laughs> that's one thing I noticed, dude. Like when someone said that to me, I was like, "Nah, that doesn't work." Told Tom to do it last night. Flavor. It's because of the airflow. You're getting more air over those eight coils or four parallel coils. Have I think it's it. that and the way the chimney is designed. Yeah. Instead of being a straight chimney like the smoke, the chimney caves in, so it's constricting it more. Yeah. I mean, even with the, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but the NRT has a really small chimney mm. and it does the same thing. It, it slopes in. So technically your Procore coil would fit in there as well. Yes. Yes. The Procore coil. Oh, oh crap. I forgot to change that. <laughs> <laughs> that was last week. Whoops. But well, you uh, can go over it again. 41 revenge it kit re look at fire look have you been using it yes yes i actually have today is the only day i haven't used it because i went to the shop and it just looks really kind of weird carrying around something that looks like a fishbowl on top of your mod yeah yeah pretty much that's the easiest way to put it it looks like a piece of paraphernalia paraphernalia um, so yeah, if, if you want, I know I'll go over it now just real quickly. So yeah, fire look still running the same damn coil in it that I was when I got it. The flavor is amazing. I'm actually really, really impressed with it. The only thing that's a downside for me is that fishbowl look. The other, <laughs> other glass is a bit better, but you lose a middle of juice and I... I go through juice like it's water. But so, can you can you use that other glass with the subarm coils? With this, yes. It, all it does <laughs> is get rid of the the okay. bulbous kind of look. But then bit. it looks more like a phallic tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in the inner G tank, you can fit smock baby coils. Same with the Procore Remix. So in theory, yep. you could put the Procore coils in the inner G tank. And vice versa. I don't know if it's going to have focus, yeah, it's but... Not. It's definitely not. <laughs> that is definitely a baby beast code because you can tell by the... Hey! Oh, okay. You can tell by the arches on it, but yeah. So that's that's kind of a little cool... Cool thing, I guess you could say, Tom. Um, being able to well, I mean, it. just expanding compatibility, which is nice. I think that's... In a, in a way, that's the way everyone's going to go. They're all going to bring out the same threads on both their coils as well as their RDAs. I mean, Which is nice because tanks, so. like, if you prefer smart coils but you don't like the, the V8 baby beast because they leak like a crazy person, then you could use your smart coils in a different tank that doesn't leak and you, know, you can kind of swap it all around, which is nice. It's definitely something that's becoming a bit more you know, readily available, being able to put different coils in different tanks because everyone's doing the same thing at the moment, which is cool. Mm. Um, but yeah, the fire look flavor on it's fucking amazing. I wish I could pull the um, the coil up, but there is juice in it. One second. You're going to syringe that juice out? I am indeed, Tom. So awkward. <laughs> the thing is, you actually have to empty the whole damn tank. Yeah. Because the coil is actually attached to the... Ch well, the chimney is a part of the coil. Yeah. So, so kind of like the, um, the remix with the little cap thing on top. Yeah. So that could be a downside as well as a plus, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, I mean, downside being that you can't take out the coil when there's half a tank of juice in there. Positive being that you get a new chimney every time you change your coil, meaning it's a clean piece of metal. It's like the crown. The crown, well, the crown's really good at taking out coils when there's still juice, because even when it's full one way, the other way it's really not so like that's a full tank and it's only kind of coming up to where the juice holes are yeah. so you can swap out coils quite easily 
William's on the phone. You see, he um, needs to one talk second. to you. One second, guys. William's on the phone. He's <laughs> Luckily, you guys couldn't hear that. Um, if only you could. <laughs> you could. You could, Tom. I muted it on. <coughs> yeah, but that was great. OBS. Um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Mum just pops in. My brother's calling from Australia. I'll talk to him later. He can. He can, he can wait. He can wait. <laughs> um, so, there we go. Jesus, there is nail juice everywhere. <sighs> Gotta love it when you're live on the internet. You tell people you're where's live your, on the internet, and bang. where's your stack of bloody microfiber cloths? Um, they're on the shelf over over there. Should have had them closer, mate. That way you can clean up spills. There you go. But yeah, I use the many to clean mods. Um, so there's the coil. It's fucking massive. It's, it's ridiculous. It doesn't want to focus on it, but it's like a V8 coil, but just with a chimney on top. So those little holes in there, it's like a revolver cartridge. There's six individual coils. Um, what's the resistance? So it's called a duo denieri, eighty to one hundred and eighty watts. So yeah. Is it a is it a twelve coil or is it a six? Good question. Good question. Well, do you? Well, <laughs> one, two, three. There's there's six leads coming out of the whole thing. Both top. Yeah, but you know how they do it. They fuse it with non-resistive wire, well, non-resistive solder, and then they make it like parallel till the it lead, and then they cut it off and fuse it there and. Yeah, there, there could be. The kind of interesting thing, though, dude, is there is, doesn't want to. Nah, your lighting's not set up for there, a straight. There is a uh, like a screwdriver bit in the center. What for? So in theory, you could unscrew it and pull out the cotton. Nah. <laughs> Good luck rewicking that shit. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> dude. Um. But yeah, it's definitely a nice little unit, except for obviously the fishbowl. The little crack pipe. Dude, I almost bought one of those RDAs, let's be honest. Change the bloody glass. Stack six coils, yeah. No, see, there's still juice in there. Um, Sup, Maxi. Sup, Billy. Thanks, Billy. Um, but yeah, so Billy answered the question, which which is perfect, thanks. Um, hey Maxi, hey Billy, how's it doing dude? How are we doing? Hope you guys are having a kick-ass evening. Dude, I can't wait for my fucking Lucas bottle to arrive. Listen to this shit, I don't know if it'll pick it up. Oh, no waste. It's not that, it's fucking leaking air. Ooh, ooh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> so I guess. Rip headphone users. Yeah. <laughs> Headphone warning. Oh, it's too late. Shit. You're fucking deaf now. Yeah, I'm wearing headphones, so I, I understand your feelings. So I can hear Tom really loudly. <laughs> um, but yeah, real easy to fill. A lot of space in it. Hey, hey, William. How's it going? Yeah, I'll call you later. Stop trying to interrupt me. <laughs> you dick. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, that... That is actually a pretty good tank. Uh, definitely something for those people that don't mind that look. I mean, if they made a fishbowl mod. Yeah. I guess, that, dude, you don't know what's out there at the moment. It's it's ridiculous the amount of mods that are coming out that are just out the day, different. Brand new. Um, but yeah, the next thing, this thing, man. You got anything to talk about, Tom? Because this could take a while. Not really. I just want to reiterate on the Procore, having used it for a little longer than you now. Um, still, still amazed, eh? Still amazed by by the performance, whether it's with the stock sub arm coil or the TF uh, Baby Beast coil in there. That that's even better. And then with the RTA and the RDA section, oh, it's so good. 
so so good and this is yep. this this is a nice combo oh yeah dude if yeah i, I don't need another mod but you know mainly because i bought one today and i've got a couple more on the way billy looking at you man you don't even know how excited i am for a new zealand design mod like you've got a yeah yeah i mean you can check the on there yeah since you're using it in rta mode probably not but new zealand made mods but i mean like pretty much from scratch when you think about it which which is kind of cool i mean it's yeah. definitely going to be one of those unique ones also we're both still waiting for our prestige v3s to turn up so hopefully they're here tomorrow because um can i have a look at your top tom can i have a look at your top my my top i think he's talking about the vaping uv shirt <sighs> oh that dead bod Oh yeah. I've pretty much only used this in RDA mode, uh, RTA mode. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm super you did lazy. use it in RDA. <laughs> I've used it in RDA uh, like for about six hours, and that was about it. Once you're done with your Kahu mod, you can totally send it my way. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no such thing as done with that sort of mod. Um, no, no, I don't mean like done as in like, I mean, once, <laughs> once that initial period of like, yay, new stuff ends, then you can send it to me. I can use it and it'll be yay, new stuff. And then I'll send it back. <laughs> like, like my watch, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's just, just the thing with, um, when the itchies turn up, we will be doing a quick look live like this, um, when we've actually yeah, them in our hands. Not, not a part of the show like yeah, yeah, well, separate you know like separate to the show yeah so that could be tomorrow could be the next day could be the day after that we don't know right now we're just waiting for them to turn up they are with couriers right now i'm hoping they turn up tomorrow because then tomorrow evening uh once i've done all my assignments and shit we we should possibly could possibly be able to just smash one out tomorrow we are talking about nz pastel here okay yeah so three months guys <laughs> Friday <laughs> at the earliest. Your dinner is the best. Uh what what dinner Mexi? Uh, nah. He looks after me. You know what I mean? Yeah, well <laughs> You're obviously the uh the homemaker in this situation. Mate, we we've already discussed this. The shorter person's always the smaller spoon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Totally. Core who, yeah. Core who. Core who. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, Billy, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to the Filipino mods. Um, I mean, I've got a couple of Filipino mods as it is. The quality on them is fucking amazing. They always go that extra step to make that product something unique. Like, um, the mod that hasn't been fired because I'm waiting for... Well, hasn't been fired for a while because I'm waiting for a new insulator from Gilbert El Diablo. That one side, though. Oh, yeah, that this one side. side. Is just, I love this side. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. And then it's like that like, side looks like greenstone, and then the other side's like, no. See, that's why I always hold it like this. <laughs> then you can only see that. Maybe that's why it's that color because your bloody hand grease is fucking. <laughs> yeah, true, probably. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, Filipino mods are always pretty much a step above any of the others at this point like the vicious ant stuff shut up that's super ant. expensive shit <laughs> if you want to send us a mod you know hit us no i wish um damn that is good flavor on those coils is next thing we do um so well my box looks Nope, nope, that's the design on it. It looks kind of beat up, but that's actually the design on the front of it. <laughs> um, Revenger kit. So, in it you obviously get the mod, the tank, two coils, USB charger, extra Pyrex glass. Pyrex. Um, I have been using it in all the different modes as well today. Well, between bypass, 
the system set and wattage I, I don't really fuck with temperature control can't be bothered with it uh billy i would love a greenstone mod but uh, yeah the yeah whole, like sacred thing with it I'm not really keen on it um i was actually looking at getting some mouthpieces made out of um ne- uh, shin of a calf or cow because that's what they yeah. use as like the white stone at this point in the box your usual braided cable that's fancy as shit even with the target like the little target mini i've got it came with the same sort of cable right they their products are fucking amazing um yeah billy i wouldn't get the the drip tip at all that's that's just my personal preference um your standard shit you get with pretty much every fade presso warranty cards you know your little safety thing where it's like do not use this device for anything other than vaping really <laughs> do not Hold let on, the let tank run empty to avoid dry forward slash burnt hits yeah do not overfill tank to avoid leakage so yeah you know your basic kind of generic shit you should know um i mean if you don't know that ask but it's, it's or read the read the card or read the card you know they are pretty generic but you know some people need the advice um this is what i can't get over like in full color isn't it no no it's, oh, in, it's in black yeah. and white but oh. is it big enough <laughs> I, could, I could legit like it's, it's ridiculous dude and that's <clears throat> what language is that uh vaporesso is the brand of the revenger uh yeah vaporesso um well so that's one are, are you ready for this time but wait there's more does it come with a separate one for the tank another one <laughs> so you it's, DJ Khaled that shit. So like, <laughs> it's it's all in. So it's got like the tank information on it as well. Yeah. Uh, also, obviously, the mod info. Why is there with, two of them? Because they're in every freaking language you can expect. Um, <laughs> I mean, that that's a good thing though. So it is an international mod. Obviously, it's not just made for New Zealand where we speak English. These like, I I love how they they put their products in the packaging um it's the same as the targets and all those where buy folds out be amazed oh, wait that way there we go be amazed <laughs> then obviously usb so that's where all your kind of other shit comes mod tank glass as well as o-rings Pretty much, sta- oh, there's a 510 adapter. Like, I'm gonna use that. Um, and then your other coil, which is the 0.25 ohm. How many watts is that? Best between 45 and 80. Cute. But, I mean, they look exactly like the Procore ones, they really do. They've got that same sort of hex thing on it, eh? Then two A's. So yeah, obviously the other one's quad. Uh, same sort of setup, but with eight coils. Another one. Another one. And another one. <laughs> DJ, you can't say his last name because we'll get copyrighted. No, you can say his fucking last name. What the fuck? <laughs> His name's not copyrighted. It, it totally is, man. You gotta pay royalties for that shit. Well, so if you name your kid Khaled. Yeah, pretty much. Um, The other... So I've been doing a lot of research on this before I bought it. The one thing that really excited me about this is... Actual balance charge... 2.5 amp quick charge. 2.5 amp. Damn. Um, it also has a really smart feature. So if one of your batteries drains faster than the other, 
what it'll do is it'll bring that battery that's drained faster up to the same level as the other battery and then quick charge. Oh, okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Like... It, it's, it's crazy, man. Um, they're using different metals on it, so it's made out of IML. I can't remember what it actually stands for, but the mold they use is really nice, sleek. Nice, nice in the hand, especially when you've got kind of small... Weak baby hands. Um, how's the button, though? The button's real small, eh, compared to the rest of the thing? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pushing it up there. You, can, you can't push it there. You actually have to hit... At the top of it. No, oh, that's weird. You'd think it'd be like a dual switch or the buttons in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other... I'm, I'm one for, like, lines, and I hate seams in the middle of places. So the whole red side panel comes off. And then you'd barely know it's there. Yeah, it's a nice design. They, they have really outdone themselves. I mean, I've said this many times at the shop as well as online... I've never heard of any issues with Vapresso products. That's because most of the time they sit there and do their research on them before they release them. There it is problems with this though. From what I've heard, the battery life on it is atrocious from what I've heard. So what I've done is I haven't updated the firmware on it yet. Going to run this for a week without the firmware upgrade. Then this time next week before the show, or live on the show, one or the other, I don't know yet. I'm going to firmware upgrade it, get it ready to go, do another week with it in, you know, firmware upgrade mode, and see how it goes. Um, USB charge on the front. You know, your up and down buttons, get into the menu with that one. So that just lets you change between all your um, settings. I guess you could say, so between variable wattage, temp control, um, what's the other one? There's, there's a couple, so variable temp and nichrome titanium, then you've got TCR settings, bypass mode. Um, good thing about the bypass is I had a .09 on there today, and it vaped like a champion uh, system set, so that pretty much lets the system In dictate. In bypass mode, is it 4.2 volts or is it the full series? Uh, 4.2. Okay. Which which is good because you're not going to put, you know, something as low as that in series. Well, in well, most you cases. <laughs> there are you people should. who would, you know, don't recommend it, but there are people that would. I'm looking at you, Tom. <clears throat> not at all. Um so yeah i was running the sleeper on it if you guys saw the the post one on the facebook page as well as on vape fam this morning i was running the sleeper on it which is a 0.09 um what are they they're stage juggernauts um so tom and richard kind of sent me a couple sets of coils really impressed so far Now it's going to get be insanely cold in here, but at least it's not going to be fogged out. Dude, don't even start with insanely cold. Holy crap. It was like negative three this morning. Um, if you guys have questions about the Vapresso, hit me with them um, whilst whilst you guys post those. The, the tank. The tank. Um, only downside for the tank, personally, is the FO ring is super tight to the yeah, point so where like it a... actually unthreads when you try and open it up. So it's like a geek vape one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, with filling it, it, it makes the V8 tank look like a piece of crap. Literally. Mm. Oh, yeah. So it swivels to the side a little bit, but real easy to do. Anyone can do it sort of thing. Doesn't get locked up on that little dove kind of thing that the um, V8s have. Same sort of concept, but without the flippy flippy. This um, is way better. <laughs> I mean, this is the second tank I've put through this. Flavor is pretty damn good. I really want to throw a T8 coil in there and see how that goes because the smock is pretty average. In bypass, can you adjust volts? Uh, I believe not. Um, Try it. Let's find out. 
stainless steel, no chrome, temp, TCR1, TCR2, bypass. Nah, so you're stuck at, oh, it's sitting at 4.6 volts. Mm. Cam, uh, I got the, the five mil. Um, mainly because that's what we have in stock at the store. I just picked one up from the store cause I saw them on the shelf and I was like, Ooh, um, so yeah, it is the five mil juice capacity. Yeah. It says it on the front. There we go. Not that you can read the sticker, but nah, <laughs> no deal. Um, I absolutely love Represo products. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I really do. They have really, really good products. Uh, I mean, had just don't of- buy their um, don't buy their Mega Tank. <clears throat> that shit. You'll buy it. You'll love it for like a second, and then it'll sit on a fucking shelf. Yeah, I mean, so I've had the Target, the Target Mini, had a Terret Nano for a bit. Got rid of that because it was too small for my liking. Um, now this, this thing is kind of, and the other thing is, yeah, as I said, I've never heard of issues with their mods ever, unless you've obviously dropped it and screwed it up. How bright is the screen? The screen is, yeah, but outside in daylight, I'd imagine that the fact that they made it shiny doesn't help. Yeah. I mean. In daylight, you're probably going to have an issue. Once again, let's do the old simulated phone, daylight <laughs> phone light test. Yeah, I mean, I can still you can still see it. It's just there's obviously glare on it, which is obviously because yeah. they've mirror finished the outside or glossed it up a little bit. But I must admit, I wasn't expecting much from the tank, flavor wise, for the the GT coils. Because, mm. um, I don't know if you've ever had the universal e- EUCs. So the ones that go on the Vicos and a couple of the other ones, they're not the most flavorsome and same with the C cell GDs, um, which obviously I can only get 0.5s of at the moment. Um, they're not the greatest on flavor either, but this thing flavor. Mm. Got some of Ken Joyce's blue grape bubblegum or yeah, blue grape bubblegum and tastes pretty much exactly the same as an RDA, just a little bit less. Do they come with screen covers like self? I wish man, that would have been a smart idea. Did it, did it come with any plastic on it? Yeah. Yeah. It came fully plastic. So you could leave the plastic on like the captain, for example. The only thing is the buttons are covered as well. So you could cut out the buttons if you really wanted. If you had a real sharp, precise. Like an exacto. Yeah. Yeah, no, there is. That would have been a. S- God damn it, Anadu. You need to work for Vapresso, man. I suggested it to Smock when they brought out the Jeep Rev, because that thing's touchscreen. And I don't think they come with them, but I did say it at one point. Um. That's one thing I'm actually looking at getting for it because it is going to obviously sit in my pocket. And yeah, I feel like those those panels are going to scratch really easily. Because they're not glass, eh? They're just... No, they're not plastic. glass. They're like... Yeah, plastic. Yeah. I feel like you could... I'm not going to do it, but I feel like you could peel them... Well, peel the back one off and put something else there. Um, carbon fiber, because carbon fiber everything... <laughs> everything. Everything. everything I love my carbon fiber man I, I can't deny it that reminds me I need to do my me one you're my one my one which my two. funny enough I've actually been using today at work as well um, really impressed with the AO coils I, I thought I'd never say that ever but they are pretty damn good in the me one but they're different, aren't they? They're the ones that go underneath the coil. Like the airflow does go underneath. I'm yeah. sure of it. Yeah. Yeah. They're the standard AIO ones that were revised like so many times. 
I'm a klutz and I drop everything. Dude, knock on wood before I say this, but I have not dropped a single one of my mods in a long ass time. Mainly because I would probably cry if I dropped half the collection I have. I've only ever dropped the snow one. <laughs> Which died, like, so badly. Because <laughs> the way I do it, man, is the mod's either in my hand, and if I'm walking around, it's in my pocket. What colors do they have? Um, I know there's a red, there's a blue, there's a gunmetal, and also a rainbow. And a black. Gunmetal. Um, there's a black as well. There's a... It, it kind of looks... I don't like, know if there's a rainbow. I think there's a black one. Um, I well, one. i got to pull it up because I know there's an, a really ugly color. Like to the point where I wouldn't even suggest it because it looks pretty bad. Um, so there's rainbow gold green with a, a drip tip that is green and red. Um, black. Blue. Gunmetal. Did I name them all? Gold, green, rainbow, black, Ugh. red, oh, gunmetal, blue. Um, yeah, yeah but... actually, so the original three that they brought out were those, and then they've just four. Kind of released a full. There were original four. Yeah, there so was there's a now one. seven. Well, yeah. Um, which I is. I don't mind that rainbow. That rainbow's not too bad. That green, though, no thanks. Dude, I'd, I'd rock that drip tip on something else, but. Mm. Yeah, but the, the problem is that the tank's still stainless. Bit foggy. Uh, Sophie, he just opened a window. I got you. I got you, Sophie. That's a lot better now. It's actually not too bad in there. Oh, your voice is glitching like no one's business. Your voice is glitching like no one's business, Tom. Um, oh. yeah, it's Sophie's probably... probably watching the feed. Yeah, she is. Thank you, Soph. Thanks for liking the. Thanks for liking the YouTube video. Thank, thank you, Sophie. The green's not that. Wow. Well, the mods okay. The tank, no the thanks. The tank looks atrocious. That that stainless steel with the green O-rings. I mean, the mod. I would rock the mod. Yes, but. I'd swim with a basic red because one that was all we had in stock, and two because that's all we had in stock. <laughs> um, I and three. Liked... Stock. I would have liked either the gunmetal, like the stainless steel look, or the black, but, you know, that's all we had in stock. I'm really stupid, dude. I didn't get out any of my juice before I started the stream. Skills. Oh, wait, it's on my bed. It's on my bed, boys. We good. What am I vaping on? I don't even know. I'm still vaping all the death liquids and bonbon and Molotov. There it is. Um, I'm going through a really weird streak at the moment, Tom. I don't know if I... Well, no, I told you this last night. Pretty much all I've been vaping is Sin City and the Melon Menthol because everything else just doesn't do it at the moment. Yeah. But you know why. <laughs> why all the rest is one isn't the rest like 1.5 no, not all of it's 1.5 but there's a couple that are 1.5 but the yeah. ones that are 1.5 i can vape and they're fine but it's just everything else is just like Meh. yeah fair enough i need something strong at the moment i don't know if i'm coming down with a cold or what but need them strong flavors so we've only got about a week week and a half left no little over a week left for the giveaway so as well. It's like a big bag of juice. Dude, Anadu, it, it really is. I mean, I take probably about a litre to work just because I don't know what I feel like vaping when I leave in the morning. So I just take whatever I can find. It's it's bad. I need to put on a hat because my hair is looking like shite right now. You need to get a haircut. I reckon we do a GoFundMe just for your haircut. No, nah, dude, I just, I just wear a hat every day. No. <laughs> Especially not peak forward. That's, there we go, that's the cat we all know. Yeah, it feels weird wearing a peak forward, man. I just wish <laughs> I had, like, Modfather there. Nah. So now, nah. Modfather, hit us up. New hats. 
Speaking of which, Tom, are you still using your mod for the tank? Yes. Oh, damn, son. Okay. Yeah, see, mine's, mine's kind of been in retirement for the last couple of days. I need to put a build on it this week and um, put it on top of the... Oh, gosh, that sounds gross. Just needs a rework. Um, yeah, so that it can go on top of the um, rip headphone users. Uh, the cube, the the captain, not cuboid. Yeah. Well, cuboid on steroids, but cuboid on steroids. The cuboid done right. James Scobie's the same. He came to my house. Yeah, dude. Like, I I like to have selections. I'm I'm kind of. I wouldn't say I'm fussy when it comes to liquid, but I like to be able to chop and change and pick and choose all day. Um, I don't. I don't get bored of flavors, but I like to switch it up every once in a while. I generally stick to one juice the entire day. Yeah, but that's because you're, you're French and, you know. Fuck yeah. Escargos is your cuisine. Yeah, mate. I've got some escargot juice. I'll send it to you. Oh, dude, I'll vape that. <laughs> just garlic butter <laughs> um i knew that is the endo armor by hdne um eric hutchinson's designs um yeah i'm still mad at tom for that because i love one of those 26650 um yeah, yeah beast is the only way to explain it i should probably triple stack the admiral no <laughs> <laughs> just just casual no i need to find a build that would work on it before i could do that and i need about like, a point four yeah i'd need like an obese buddha just to fit them all in no not at all no not even slightly you could fit it in a bloody goon don't mention that name around me yeah okay you could fit it in an icon yeah yeah, Easily, panels, if yeah. you if you only use the exterior, uh, like the, you know, the, the white, outside yeah. ones. Yeah. Damn, forty minutes, and we've talked about everything. Um. Well. Well, pretty much everything. Um, pretty much. Hopefully, we'll have some new new this coming week for next week's show. Um, obviously the, uh, the cheese, itchies, whatever you want to call them, will be here. The prestige V3s from a vaping chronology, fuck, <laughs> chronology, <laughs> there we go, chronology, there we go, um, should have those, my god, we better have those, and then in probably a month, I'm looking at probably the Kohu mod should be here, so that'll be fun, two new mods within... A couple months and uh then i'm on a mod ban so there'll be no more new mods from me for a while that prestige is the last mod for me i'm um, yeah i i gotta stop dude it's, it's an addiction. i've been downsizing um, well yeah i've been downsizing i've gone from like same i've sold close to 10 mods in the last couple of couple of weeks yeah i've got one going this week on friday um then probably another one the week after. So slowly, slowly downgrading the setup. Because slowly but surely, eh? They just sit here, man, and I feel bad for having some quite nice expensive mods just sitting here, wasting away. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I've still got one to s two to sell. One's never going to sell, which is the Karma. Oh, and dude. yeah that's that's one for the uh pef pile and then that that's gonna sell hopefully i hope <laughs> one day Ooh. i'm never gonna sell this though oh yeah oh mate that's next on the block for me is my baby my tk this is in my this is in my no sell list as well oh yeah oh, screw you man you can you can just sell that to me Ken. yeah sure sure I'll, I'll, you know the deal mate i'll sell you the two TK. grand for you <laughs> i'll sell you the tk for that hey nah, nah, no deal. TKs. um but yeah i'm just gonna throw it out there guys if you have questions throw them up let's let's see what you got anything anything vape related um 
any of the devices we've talked about, any of the devices we're using tonight, anything really, um, more than happy to answer any questions. Anything, vaping, non-vaping, who cares? Mainly vaping, <laughs> but you know. Mainly vaping, but if it's not vape related, we're not going to care. <laughs> Hello, See, but then, my old friend. Oh, what? I don't I don't need your TK to do triple stack. Sure. And it's at this point Tom noticed that oh, he's fucked up. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who would use that though? Like seriously. Not those colours, no one. Like Hey, let me take a vape from my with it stick. <laughs> we good. You believe you said <laughs> exactly, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I like dual stacks enough for me. Stacked by itself. Yeah. yeah. Anything above that, I'm like too much heat, too much power at once. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know because the twenty six fifties. Like with the twenty six X fifties, two of them is equivalent to like three bloody fucking eighteen six fifties, basically. Um I do have a third mod on the way, I can't deny it. So it's another Filipino mod, um, from Tower Mods called the Battlemaster. I have to wait till August to get that. Because they're sending over the RDA with it. So yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of Filipino mods. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. But as I said, the quality of Filipino mods is next level, I must admit. And then you're going to get bored of them, and then you're going to sell them, and you're going to be like... Send them to Tom. Send them to Richard. He wishes, man. He does. Actually, I need to get Richard's address. That reminds me. You know Richard's address. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it somewhere. Um, shout out to Native Week. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I just re-upped on Native Wick. I bought six packs today. Six. It's wooden. Yeah, dude, that's like that's that's like one month for me. No, um, that's like two days. Pretty much, dude. <clears throat> that's just re-wick what you got currently, and then you're sweet. Good. You got no god. 25 mil like 10 rep 25 mil eh, 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 focus focus nope no focus there we go that's focus dish <sighs> these these are most mods i'm gonna do um I'm, I'm regretfully selling it because it just sits on the shelf. But it, it is one you of the. You traded it. Traded it for your conserver. My connoisseur. Yeah. You would have still been using that thing too, I reckon. Oh, dude. I use this every once in a while. I pull her out, give her a good clean up. Um, that's mm. one thing is having so many mech mods, the upkeep of copper, aluminum, <laughs> and brass mods. As soon as you've cleaned just them, clean about two days later, you've got to clean them again. Not for the aluminum ones, but... No, no, I mean, my like, copper and my brass are... Yeah, because, like, this, you have to clean once every three months, four months. That's it. Yeah, that's getting patina -y. Or what I'm using right now, the Admiral. That shit's just gone, mate. <laughs> Dude, I actually like it, this colour, because it feels almost softer. So much softer. Anudu, I mean, it is actually worth getting the authentic IMO. Um, I mean, I have no issue with clones. I've said it before. Um, but I definitely agree with supporting the people who have created the device. Um, I mean, if you can only afford a clone, you can only afford a clone. But These are both auths. Auth. 100%. Pretty much everything I own at this point, Maxi, is off. I've got, like, two clone RDAs left. And I got none. 
and one tube which I will never sell, which is the Panzer that Phil gave me, my first ever mech mod. So bit of nostalgia there, mate. That's yeah, why dude, it's it's like that, you know. He gave me a, a mech mod. Didn't even know who I was. Just offered me a mech mod, gave me a mech mod. Shout out to you, Phil. That was that was a long time ago, man. That was like two years. Actually, yeah, it would be two years. Damn. I feel old. You feel old? Mech modding for... T- like in vape life, man. I'm like 60 right now. <laughs> 60? Mate, some people go through their entire vaping life. Don't go fucking... Don't <laughs> go make it take... all. I prefer all. Don't go make it all. Yeah, dude. True that, true that, Um, <laughs> They are worth worth the price. I mean, yes, they are quite expensive, but they are worth it. Yeah, I mean, the the option which you have as well, price-wise, okay, Josh. Is go for a blame instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it is evening. It is 7.51 p.m. She is a... Cold night. Everything's off here, bar one Frankenstein, which is getting gutted. That is true. I know you're getting the skunk, which will be cool. Be be key, be. Be say key. Um, how you doing, Josh? Hope you're doing well, man. I'm guessing it's morning where you are. And wait, where would that be? I don't even know what time it is. Seven, eight, probably Europe, Western Europe. Well, I still have my whistle cap handy. Your whistle cap? My whistle cap. You, you mean the, the pro core? Nah. The whistle cap. Oh, the titanium body? Yeah. Yeah. That shit's fucking whistle cap central, man. Dude, I know. That's why I never got one after the clone I had. I was like, oh, it's actually not too bad. All depends on your build as well, to how, yeah. how bad it's going to whistle. I think because of where the coils are placed on this one. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Tom, you know I'm wearing IEMs. Thank, thank you. Yep. That was just for you, Ken. Dude, you can... Oh, good. I thought you couldn't see them at all, but you can definitely see them. I should have got the skin-coloured ones. skin color. Yeah, dude, they make skin-coloured ones and clay ones. But they definitely look a bit better than wearing big clunky headphones. Live on the interwebs. We, we get it 4 a.m. Monday morning. Damn, dude. Nice. Work at 4 a.m. Damn, I was complaining about going to work at 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, but you complain about everything. Ouch. <laughs> especially <laughs> you know, when, it's especially when the don't turn up when you really want them. Oh, that's just something else, mate. <laughs> thank you, Courier Post. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the PM, Tom. Yeah, that I'm sure you wanted that, it. That is great. Just casually, you know, sending each other sneaky DMs. Sneaky DMs, man. So, Tom, oh we haven't really yeah. talked about them for a while. You know, your original hustler, how's it going? That's my original mod hustler. we haven't talked about. And a long life yes, we have. We no. talked about it two shows ago. Yeah, but I mean, like the originals, like the ones we got. Shit, when was it? November, December, December. It was Christmas. Yeah, it was the Christmas show. Still, still working, still going hard. Any scratches? Very much. You got scratches, Tom? Dense. No scratches. Mine's been dropped. See, the only wound tear is the bottom corners. What's this about bum sex? Even Tom Burn sex? Bums? Is that an R or an M? That's an M. Bum sex. What about Tom? Cam's not here, so that's that's not on the tables for me. My 
the way you just said that. Wow, Tom. <laughs> What's wrong, Cat? Are you getting a bit embarrassed? <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, uh, I'd do a show with you. Uh, no, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't change your, your dude. It's been a year. Next show. It's been is, a year. Next show is our year. Nah, it's been a year. Next show is the year. It was the first week of August, my dude. Was it? Uh, I believe. Oh shit. So one year, one year next week. Fuck me. Ooh. You have to put up with your shit for a year? Uh, one second, let's go back to the... Let's double check. Cam would complain about getting... Oh. Okay, so it was August 19th was our first show. August 19th. So it's not next week. The Vaping Evo logo looks mint. Dude. That's the sticker. That's, that's <laughs> the sticker, man. With, you know, I have stickers on pretty much every fucking... Everything. Thing. Same here. Just, just <laughs> because then it not. differentiates your mods from other people. Um, makes it a lot easier to find your mod. I mean, <clears> it's <throat> pretty hard to steal my mod when it says cam on it. The other one, though, has it in the door etched, so... Hey. So, try and steal my mods, guys. I'm gonna find them. I'll find them. It's like, hey, have you seen the one with skulls on it? With the vaping Amy on the door? No... <laughs> Not at all. Show me your door. <laughs> uh, Maxi, I'm always red. Just throwing it out there. You should know this by now. Um, but yeah, I'm still in love with my first box, dude. I really am. Um, still, still pretty damn thankful that Jonas hooked us up. Love it. This is just like a little nostalgic show today. Damn. Um... <laughs> Go but, back on the memories. Uh, what what date is it? What's what's the date of the nineteenth? Nineteenth, nineteenth. It's a Saturday, so we'll either celebrate it on the the fourteenth or the twenty first. Oh yeah, if if you're here for the bloody Kerry vape day, we can just do it on that day. Yeah, yeah. See, Brandon tagged it like it just makes so much more sense to have devices with little kind of thing so people can't heaven forbid people stealing mods but you know it does happen every once in a while unless people have the exact same wedding date as me that's my birthday bro you were born in 2014 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <Or> three yeah <clears throat> bro, it's cold shut up maxi it's fucking freezing here i got the window open because of complaints of the other it's, People it's in the zero house. right now. Cam feels like... Oh, Cam's like... Ha, 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 ha. Mixing, you're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong, man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, dude. Pretty much. I mean, if you go back and look at our first episode ever, and then look at where we are now, it's like, what, what were we doing back then? <laughs> Mate, I had that fucking... I'm sure I had a chin strap beard back in the day. All right, one second. Let's, let's open it up. I'm pretty sure I had the bloody like Neh. Yeah you did with the really kind of <laughs> janky moustache Did I have a moustache already? Yeah I'm yeah, sure did. I didn't have one no, Oh yeah, yeah it would have been like Yeah yeah would have been it's cold. Shut up. Oh why is it fucking <laughs> running? There we go fuck off Dude and our cringeworthy like lighting and Oh and the cameras camera. What the fuck <laughs> Cause like just for a bit of nostalgia, this is this is the camera it would have been like. Like, ooh, ooh, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It, quality. I don't even have the camera. And like, better. showing things, like, eh, eh. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Oh, uh, dude. Now you're 30. Thank you, Maxie. I still get ID'd for everything. Don't remind me. I do, too. I'm so triggered. Even when my beard is like fucking out there, I still get ID. So don't feel bad, man. Anadu, I will pull some clips from the original episode for that one year. For the one year. Yeah. And yeah, you'll be able to watch us cringe at ourselves live. Or just go clips. back on the channel. Yeah, or go back to the Vaping Ewe hashtag one. <laughs> yeah, that um, shit, mate. Back Where in the we day. had like, the screen was like, 
us on the side. <laughs> and I remember that one because we did my asthma juice review, and then the only things in our comment description was your your Instagram and my Instagram, and we're like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> And how oh, dude, I mean, now, I mean, there's not much more in our descriptions at all. There's legit mods, Jonas, you know, always going to support him, our merch, both our Instagram still, and your old YouTube from God knows how long ago since you put up a video. Mate! And also Fresh 03. That and that was it. So we've The got... views on the fucking old YouTube, mate. Holy shit. I'm at like, I think close yeah, to 100,000. Yeah. Dude, yeah, so we we definitely will look back on it because what a year it has been. Twelve months. It's like a, a life sentence in New Zealand in prison. Especially dealing with you. It's like I'm that's like two a chronic alcoholic, man. Like damn. <laughs> At one point I might as well have been. <laughs> How do you think the wife puts up with me? <laughs> yeah. So if you don't worry, I'll buy you a bottle when I come up. Um, <laughs> you'll have to buy the whole barrel yeah true I'll just bring up a whole cask keeping it classy chateau cask <laughs> just bring a goon bag bro nothing like some goon damn dude I'm just like looking over all our old videos and Mate, we, we got really nice with the green screens at one point, and now we just don't even bother. We're like, nah. Dude, like, we will get back to that point. Um, I'm in the works of trying to source some wood instead of paying, like, $100 for a frame. Um, yeah. Dude, at one point I just thought about getting, like, an old canvas painting. Or, like, the side of a tent. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But we will get back to that very, very shortly. Um Tom's obviously just moved into the new office. Well, yeah, this office. And I'm just too lazy to remount it. <laughs> I need to find where the beam is in the ceiling so I can actually mount it properly without it falling out. Go through to the beam instead of just the plaster, which is what it was attached to. Thanks, Tom. Pro tips with Tom. But or, or the other plan is to actually rotate my desk 90 degrees and have the wall there green. So that that's probably going to happen because that makes Chateau de Cardboard. No, it's Chateau Cask. 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 Yeah. Be nice if you could spell Chateau properly, uh, Maxi, please. You're going to trigger the French boy. Ch Chateau. <laughs> She vaped too much. She shat an O. Oh, and she just sent me a, <laughs> a Facebook message saying triggered. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Um, cheers, Anadu. It's good to meet you, man. Um, can't stress it enough what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, man. YouTube videos all clouded. Go check them out, guys, if you have spare time. Uh, definitely some really good reviews and also some good solid reviews. reviews. Battery safety. That's that's one yeah. thing we need to go back over again. Battery safety. Because the amount of new vapors trying to pick up mech mods at the moment is quite alarming. Mm. So that's definitely on the cards, guys, is go back over battery safety. Especially with twenty seven hundreds they've just come out. <coughs> More stuff to talk about. New new battery safety. Um, and 26650s. And 26650s, which we didn't really cover because neither of us kind of bothered with them. Even though I was looking at getting an Aegis, but I'm on a mod band now, so that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if it's a regulated device, you know. So yeah, it'd be, it'd be cute. We'd do that. Be cute. That's about that on pit. Uh huh. Sure, you did, Maxi. Sure, you did. <clears throat> She's lying, Tom. <laughs> Um, it's getting cold in here. We are at, what are we at? Like an hour and five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. Five minutes, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to call it. Tom's going to call it. We're going to call it. Um, We're going to call it. I'm going to leave the, the YouTube. No, no. Well, YouTube link. The Zoom link in the chat. If you guys want to come chill for a bit, we'll be here. 
Um, I was there, I know, and I didn't even see. Well, it's because he that's because you're short. Yeah, he couldn't see you <laughs> over the clouds or under the clouds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll post up the link if you guys want to come chill. Let's let's chill. Uh, thanks for tuning in as per usual. Been a good show as per usual. <sighs> Two more weeks and it's been a year. Fuck me. But yeah, we will catch you guys later. Um, exciting things ahead. Hopefully Vaporium will be hooking us up in the next couple of weeks with some of their new new. Um, and also, obviously, the Ethichis, Ethichis, Prestige V3s, Vaping Chronology. 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 There we go. I think when you do the title of that video, it's going to be like um but yeah new stuff coming in we'll catch you then pieces deuces cloudies let's go